Hi Year 3, so today is um, subtraction. You're going to be using all of your money knowledge to do some uh, subtracting. Um, now I'm going to show you the different strategies that you need to do today. You need to use the number line method and column subtraction. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Okay, so one of the methods you're going to need to use today is um, the number line method. So I'm just going to go over how to do that again with you just so that you know what to do um, and then you can go ahead and do that yourself. Right, so we've got a calculation here which is £6.25 take away £5.54. So I'm going to show you how we can use the, uh, the number line method to do this. So we always get jump up, okay, so we're going to start on £4.54 and we're going to jump up to £6.25. So... I'm going to think of the first sensible jump. I'm going to jump to four pounds and sixty pence, okay? And that is a jump of six, isn't it? We know that four and six make ten, so fifty-four add six is takes us to sixty. So that is a jump of six. I'm going to put six in there. Then I'm going to do another sensible jump up to five pounds. Okay, so there's my five pounds. That is a jump of 40 pence. 60 and 40 make 100. So that's 40 pence. Then I'm going to do a whole jump up to six pounds. So that's a jump of one pound. And then I'm going to do a jump, um, my final jump up to six pounds and 25 pence. Okay, so that's a jump of 25p. The next step is to add them all together. So I'm going to start with my biggest number, so we've got one pound, and then I'm going to add 40p onto that, so I know that's one pound and 40 pence. Then I'm going to add my 25 pence, so that becomes one pound and 65 pence. I've then got 6p left, so I'm going to think about my number bonds. I know that 5 and 5 make 10, so that will take me up to 70, and then I've got 1 left, okay? So then that takes me up to 71. So then my total is £1.71. So £6.25 take away £4.54 equals £1.71. So that is your number line method. You will also need to do some column subtraction today. So I'm just going to go over that again to refresh your memories. Um, but you should be all right because you did column uh, addition yesterday. But sometimes some of you can get a bit confused between the two. So let's make sure that doesn't happen today. So we're going to set it out like we always do with our hundreds, tens and ones. Remembering that five pounds and 82 pence is the same as 582 pence. And um, three pounds and 55 pence is the same as uh, 355 pence. So 582 and 355. Okay. So we are not adding. Remember, we are taking away. So we're not going to add these together. We are still going to start with our ones. So we are going to look at two and five. Now, can we take five away from two? If we had two apples, can we take five away from them? No, we can't because we don't have enough. So this is where we regroup, okay? Remember, we're going to go over into the next column. So this is our tens column. We are going to ask if we can um, take one of the tens. So we're going to exchange this. So we're going to take that away. So this now becomes 70 and we can bring it into our ones column. So we now have 12. We can now take 5 away from 12. So 12 take away 5 is 7. Then we have 7 take away 5. Let's think about if we can do that. If we had 7 apples, can we take away 5? Yes, we can because we have enough. 7 take away 5 is 2. And then we have 5 take away 3 and we know that is 2. So the answer to this question, 5 pounds and 82 pence take away 3 pounds and 55 pence, is 227 pence or two pounds and 27 pence okay so that is how you do column subtraction don't get confused with addition remember with column subtraction we need to regroup and move the tens or the hundreds into the next column to make sure we can do our subtraction 
don't just flip these around don't put five here and two here and think that you can do that you are then changing the whole sum okay you cannot just flip them around so if you can't do it go over and regroup okay i hope that helped um if you want to have a look at the video again just rewatch it again um just to make sure you really know what you're doing um, remember as ever don't feel like you have to complete all of the sheets and there are the maths uh, money games on the website as well as the uh, white rose problem of the day um, and also the twist it and solve it answers are on your sheet too okay good luck